During every expansion thus far in our WoW Classic journey, if you did not dungeon grind, a Wii open world grind, or solo previous expansion dungeons at launch, then you could proudly wear the badge of a filthy casual. The name of the game has been Speed reaching max level as quickly as possible because that's the only point when you can meaningfully progress your character to get ready for raiding. Cataclysm changes that. While I don't doubt that we'll have our fair share of dungeon levelers, they will find themselves at level 85 with a bit of an uphill battle ahead of them as they reach max level while not being able to work towards progressing their character until they head back to do stuff they could have done while leveling up. In order to prevent that, here are four things you should do while leveling up during Cataclysm launch. Just like previous expansions, you will have head and shoulder enchants locked behind reputations. And just like Wrath, you'll have access to tab arts that you can equip that will help you gain reputation towards a specific faction. You will not be able to bind that tab art until you reach friendly with that faction, which will require you to complete at least a few quests in each zone. Not to mention that plenty of pre-raid best in slot options are locked behind these reputations. And as such, knocking out all the quests in a zone that has a valuable reputation reward is not a bad idea. Questing in Cataclysm will be very fast since we have our 310 speed mounts and thus will be an efficient way to get reputation even compared to spamming heroics at 85. Deep Helm will be a mandatory quest zone for everyone leveling up for the first time in Cataclysm. Not only is it an extremely efficient zone to quest in due to its small scale, but the reputation venture of Therasane, which unlocks your shoulder enchant, is locked behind a long quest line in Deep Home that basically requires you to finish the entire zone. This is your Sons of Hoder equivalent from Wrath, and once you're done with the quest line, it puts you a decent chunk into honor reputation. Humans will get straight to Revered, meaning they get access to 346 item level gear from this quest line alone. The Shoulder Enchant, like in Wrath, is bind on account, meaning that for future alts, you can opt to skip this zone if you don't enjoy questing. Getting some decent gear before heading into Heroics at 85 is not a bad idea for three reasons. First, the Cataclysm Heroics are a clear step up from the Wrath Lich King Heroics. While I don't doubt that the players of today will have any trouble clearing Heroics in suboptimal gear, there is no need to make things harder than they need to be. Second, you need an item level of 329 to queue heroic dungeons. While you can still mount up and head to the entrance of the dungeons, being able to queue for heroics will make it quicker and it'll allow you to progress towards your Valor Point cap for the week. And that could be quite important for the first week since we won't have access to the raid. Third, gear scaling is much more exponential in Kata. In Wrath, some of your Sunwall gear will be part of your pre-raid best in slot but things will be much different this time around. There will be a clear difference between your current ICC gear and normal level dungeon gear. Thus, I would recommend around level 83 or 84 to do all the dungeons rewarding 316 and 333 item level gear at least once. That will be Stonecore, Vortex Pinnacle, Grim Batol, Lost City of Tolvir, and Halts of Origination. All dungeons will have several quests associated with them for both solid experience as well as a guaranteed loot. All dungeons will have quests at the beginning of the dungeon with the exception of Halls of Origination that requires some prequesting in Uldum. Cataclysm, like all expansions before it, has its own version of Ring of Blood. The draw for these quests in the past have been the quick experience it gives, but unless you're ahead of the pack, I won't make you disillusioned about this being a quick endeavor. But that's not why we're here. It's a quest chain that's available from level 84 in Twilight Highlands that rewards a weapon of item level 333. This will give you a huge boost as you head into Heroics as there are not a lot of other options that are easy to obtain. Entering Twilight Highlands and getting access to the portal requires a bit of questing, but as we're looking to get at least friendly with the faction, that's something that you should be doing anyhow. Leveling in Cataclysm will be quick, and I think dungeon spamming will be the way to go for all that you're looking to catch up on. But on release, I'd refrain from dungeon cleaving all the way to 85 as sooner or later, most likely sooner, you'd have to return to the leveling areas to complete all the things you skip while leveling up. We're getting very close to the Cataclysm beta and there are so many more things to cover. We just hit 500 subscribers, which I think is kind of insane after not even a month of posting. So if you're on the Cataclysm hype train, make sure to subscribe. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.